Happy New Year, guys. I'm so sorry I haven't been here this year. This is my very first episode of Arike Weekly for the year. And um, I didn't do it intentionally, but I've just been resting. I've been, you know, having my own me time because I'm expecting, yes, if you didn't know before, I'm expecting a baby and um, I'm really excited and grateful to God. Um, I'm sure some people are watching this video and they're like, hey, Arike, your nose. Yes. Yeah, so if, if you didn't know before, this is evidence that, um, yeah, we're expecting a baby and I'm very, very happy about it. So guys, how are you doing? How was 2015? Dean, how are you planning for 2016? I'm very excited about the year and the year. Um, okay, so today we're talking about relationship goals. Now, um, some of you, you would see celebrities or you will see people who you look up to and um, see them in relationships and think that everything is all rosy, everything is all dandy. You think their relationships are perfect and then you begin to, you know, pray to have that kind of relationship. Guys, please, 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 don't tap into the wrong anointing. Your own anointing might even be better than the other person's own that you are looking up to. Um, I saw a picture recently, um, a girl put it up on social media, and you know she had a picture of herself and her boyfriend, and then she split the picture into two, and then had a picture of a celebrity and um his celebrity wife and she said oh relationship goes that she wants her relationship to be like that blah 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 and then i read comments and i saw other people saying oh i tap into their anointing oh i want mine to be like this and you know while it's good to actually admire people who look good together when they're dating or when they're married but i would always say that you shouldn't look at another person's relationship and say oh i want my relationship to be like that because you really don't know what they're going through behind closed doors you really don't even know what is happening in their relationship you don't even know if they're happy the only relationship that you can talk about or you can say you're sure about is the one that you are in so i would say that for people who look up to other people's relationships it could even be your pastor at church that you'd be like oh my goodness oh my pastor is so in love with his wife this and that you don't know what goes on behind closed doors so stop looking at other people's relationships and saying that you want yours to be like that how about you working on your own relationship and then you know trying to make you work look at your flaws look at your strengths and you know work on them and make your own relationship a happy one one that um you know you would want to when, when when you're talking about relationship goals you're not thinking about other people's own you're thinking about your own relationship because your own relationship goals are to make your own relationship better and to make your relationship even spicier other people would even look at yours and be like hmm i wouldn't mind my relationship to be like that just because of the way you're nurturing yours and making sure that you know things are all good between yourself and your partner so instead of taking out time to look at other people's relationships and, and and keep saying oh i want mine like that i want mine like oh this person and that person oh oh my god this celebrity couple they look good together you don't know what is going on behind closed doors manage your relationship don't tap into the wrong anointing sometimes god has given you the person that is meant to be for you and then you're now saying ah i don't like this, ah, this relationship now wow and then before you know it, your partner begins to change because you want your own partner to be like that person. I don't know if that person is a wife beater or if that person is, an, is, a, is a serial abuser or you don't know if that person is a terrible person at home. So guys, ladies, please work on your own relationships and stop looking up to other people's relationships and saying, oh, relationship goes. It's okay to admire it's absolutely good to admire people that you see who look good together, but work on your own relationship and make yours work. Guys, that's all I have to say on Arike Weekly. I've said, now, I don't want to be taking more than taking up more than six yeah, minutes of your time because, um, you know, I know people have things to do and no one wants to sit here all day watching me just talk, 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 talk. talk, talk. <laughs> Guys, I'm in Atlanta. I've left Lagos. I'm not in Nigeria. I'm in ATL. So Atlanta people... You can send me your numbers. I will call. Let's do. Let's hook up. Let's see. Let's see what's going. Let's 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 see. I'm a dry person, so don't even think that. You know, when I come, you're gonna be turning up. Turn. No, no, no. I'm not um, a turn up person. At least for now. For now. For now. Until 
when baby comes. So if you're in Atlanta or if you're in America, send me your, your phone number. You can mail it to me at arikeweekly at gmail.com. I will give you a call and if you're in my area, we can meet up. Yeah. Guys, this has been Arike Weekly. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those people who just subscribed. Even though I haven't been putting up videos, I um, saw that I got a lot of sub subscribers this year. So guys, thank you so much for subscribing. And I will try my best to be here more frequently. And um, I wish you all the best this year. I wish you, you know, everything that you wish for yourself. And for those people who are looking up to God for the fruit of the womb, I pray that this year you shall receive your own blessing. God bless. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Lady Arike. I love you guys. Mwah.